This video is going to be going over 3D Warp. 3D Warp is a good all around, just kind of um, catch all basic editing effects. Um, when you're editing in news, this is going to be something that can uh, do most of what you need to do. So you can find it in the effect palette. You can uh, go Tools, Effect Palette, or you can hit Control 8 here, as you can see. And it's under Blend, called 3D Warp. All right, so I'm going to drop down some video here. So I'm going to drop this down. Go ahead and delete this audio. I don't need it. So, um, Oftentimes, uh, we get pictures and things that we need to cut out. So I'm going to show you how to like quickly cut this out. Drop 3D Warp down. Uh, bring up my effects editor. Okay. And so I'm simply just going to... I'm sorry, this is blown up from before. You can scale in and out for this. And then to move around, you hit Control alt it brings up this hand and you can move it around so if you need to really get in there and see what's happening that's one way to do it <clears throat> so I'm just gonna simply crop this top bottom left right okay um, so now you've cropped it you just got a black background um, I can click and move this around. So I can put this in the center of my screen if I want. Um, I can come over here to scaling to make it larger or smaller. Um, I can put a border on that for, you know, let's say I wanted a border to go around it. Uh, let's make it red. So I've got a red border on it. I can soften the edges if I want. Let's make this border bigger. Soften the edges. Um, all right, so there's that, but you know, I've got this black background still there. I don't want that there. So I'm actually going to just move this up a video layer and put a background underneath of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these chairs behind it. Okay. All right, when I view from that layer, oh look, there it is. But you know what? I'm not exactly happy with how that looks. So I can actually put a 3D warp on that as well. Effects editor, uh, but I don't, I don't want to cut anything out. Maybe I just want the chairs to fill up the whole screen. So let's zoom in on that. We'll move it over here a little bit. But I don't want the focus to be on this. I want it to be on this for rent sign. So I'm gonna come over here to defocus. Actually, make it look blurry. Um, all right. I'm pretty happy with how that looks, but I want further separation for this. So let me go back to this other video layer. You know, effects palette, still up. And I'm gonna put a shadow on it. And I can move this shadow around. I can make increase the opacity or decrease it. Let's say I wanted this to actually move. Okay, so I've got keyframes. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some more. On my keyboard, it's at the end button. Uh, but you can also put a keyframe right there like that. And from there, I'll, I'll let it, let's actually move this over here. All right, so we're gonna start there. And then I actually want it to end here. So I'm gonna drop some more keyframes. And it over here. All right, so now let's watch that. Okay. So it moved. I've got kind of everything 
go in there if I wanted to rotate it and rotate it you know if I wanted it to be there and then over here I wanted it to be more of that oh okay um so most of everything that you want to do in a quick you know daily news turn you can do in 3d warp it's kind of a, a pretty simple catch-all um, you've got different ways you can manipulate it you can you can move it on the screen or you can move it via uh, these slider bars you can kind of move it really any way that you want So, a lot of, of things to do here, um, all from one simple little effect, 3D Warp.